in this tutorial let's understand what is input box and how we can use input box for taking any input from user so let me add a command button i'll go to developer tab here we have insert option in this we have form controls and activex controls from activex controls i'll select command button and then i'll drag a command button here so i'll write some vba code for input box so let's understand that so i'll click on command button i would say i'll double click on this command button so that i can write vba code on the click event of this command button so for input box we have a syntax syntax in the sense what is the vba code input box then bracket then we can display any message so here i'll display message like enter a number inverted comma and then we can close the bracket now this code will show input box with this message so user will input a number so we need a variable where we can store that number so let me write a equal to now this syntax is correct so what will happen number will be given by user and that number will be stored in a variable now for checking that what number is entered let me show a message box msg box simply a we can write because a already has value Now let me minimize this VBA editor and check this code. I'll click on design mode so that we can come out of design mode. I'll click on this command button. So we can see that message is enter a number and this is input box. Here I'll give input as 10 and once I press OK then we can see that that 10 is stored in A and now we can see message which is showing 10. So this is one example. Let's understand one advanced example for input box. So let me click on design mode. Then I can double click on this command button. Let me delete message box. And here let's say if I or user enter a number that is being stored in a variable now I can transfer this value to worksheet in cell a1 so what is the syntax or VB code for that I can say worksheets here we can see at bottom it is sheet 1 so I'll write the name that is being displayed here dot cells for a1 I can use first row comma first column dot value equal to a now what will happen whatever number I will enter or user will enter in input box will be stored in a and then that a will be transferred in a1 cell of worksheet that is named as sheet 1 so let me click on design mode now I can click on this command button this time let me write 25 press ok and we can see that 25 is transferred to a1 let me go to design mode again we can simplify these two statements by removing a so what i'll do let me delete this part and directly control x and then control v now what is happening whatever value we will give through input box will be directly stored in cell a1 on worksheet sheet 1 let me minimize this window let me delete this now I'll click 
and here I'll give let 45 press OK and we can see that this VBA code is working perfectly so this is how we can make use of input box for taking input from user and then using values in our calculation or for any purpose thanks for watching